head towards our Bills game. That's, of course, the big focus here as we got into the past couple of days. It's going to be a heck of a game. A nice little snow bowl going on. Temperatures in the 20s, snow likely. And poor dolphins. I know they're usually in liquid water, but they're going to be in some of that frozen water as they start to work our way through into this weekend. So here's future view as we walk our way through. You can see that snow band developing through the night tonight, impacting parts of Genesee, Wyoming counties, getting into Livingston from time to time. And then you start to kind of notice it gets that waviness going on to it. But it does kind of settle in, and we could see some occasional snow showers through the Rochester area, maybe up through Orleans County. And it's just going to be kind of that up and down nature throughout the day so we start to see those winds shift a little bit. Now, of course, during the game, it is likely that we are going to be seeing snow falling in Orchard Park. If you're heading out that way, just be mindful. Travel is going to be slow, especially on the way back, too, because it's going to be dark and you're going to have snow falling pretty much the entire time. So that's definitely going to be a hindrance. So just make sure you're planning ahead. You have that emergency kit in your car. You just have stuff just in case because you always just want to be prepared and it's better than not being repaired. So by the time we head into the Sunday, we'll continue to see snow off the lakes here. It starts to get a little bit more chaotic as that low pressure system passes up to our north somewhere between Saturday into Sunday. And as all that happens, we start to see, you know, of course, plenty of snow throughout the parts of western New York. Of course, up here by Rochester, like I said, not a lot of impact. Livingston County, too, but Wyoming, Genesee counties, as you start to head out that way, you start to get a little bit more. Orchard Park could have a foot of snow on the ground by the time the game starts. By the time the game's well over and into Sunday, you could be seeing upwards of a foot to maybe even two feet.